Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha, Kadash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days. Great Millstone, also known as GMS. Salutations to the Most High's men, the four corners of the earth, pushing this word of sincerity to the truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. This is your brother with Yamiana from GMS, Mississippi. With a transit topic, real briefly, through the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son going into the calm before the storm. You know, we had camp on yesterday, street speaking, and we touched upon walking in the cool of the day. For as it is written, while the evil days come not, and it's compared unto this particular light storm that we're seeing right now. Now, this is something that's not too tedious. But it can get worse. It can be worse. And that's how the sign of the times are for right now. It can and it will get worse. You know, we have the prophecies written for our learning, right? Where righteous men of old were inspired by the Holy Spirit for the dreams and the visions that they had and the scribes who were the writers of those dreams, visions, and different accounts. And the Heavenly Father has it prepared to where the calm that we're living in right now, it's really not that calm. You know, as our forefather Noah prepared the, the great ark for salvation for those souls that the Heavenly Father desired to grant salvation unto. At any particular moment, he knew and understood that the word of the Lord was going to stand firm. Right? But he never wavered as far as having doubt concerning the promise that the Heavenly Father made. But ultimately, he still had to to worry to finish his work. He had to to high to, to have in, in, in high regard, in high esteem, to finish the course that the heavenly Father had him down. In the same way that the righteous men and the righteous women in today's time, you know, that's a minor stress factor as well, because we simply do not know, right? Because as it is written, no man knoweth the time or the season that the Lord is going to return, but we know that it's going to come to pass. And the whole point of it all is staying ready now so you don't have to get ready then. You know, it's just like being late for a hot date and you're running behind and you're frantic, you're panicking, you're forgetting things. Ultimately, are, are, are not how or where you want to be when it comes time for you to be presented to your day. But staying prepared, staying ready, right? By giving yourself ample time, ample, ample opportunity to prepare, to, to practice, to rehearse. It helps you better prepare to be properly prepared for that presentation that we have with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because the Heavenly Father stated that he's going to judge every man according to what his work shall be. And all we have is our records of work. All we have are the things that we commit in our body. All we have are the things that we say with our mouth, all we, all we have are the, are the things that we do with our hands. And they have to be found worthy during the time of judgment. You know, during that time of, of Yahweh's judgment. But as we live in the cool of the day right now, while the e evil days come not, 
this is that grace period this is that moment to where the heavenly father is allowing us the opportunity to turn unto him and to seek him and to simply rehearse the righteous acts of the lord you know because this is just a rehearsal you know but in the kingdom of the lord it's game time no more practice is needed no more rehearsing is needed because at that point he's going to grant us that promise of that new covenant and the best time to get something is to get it while the getting is good that's why when stock prices go down people do what they call themselves buying the dip they say it's on sale crypto goes down they buy the dip they say it's on sale discounted clothing discounted vehicles people say it's a good time to buy houses on sale the housing market it's a good time to buy but no one talks about the truth no one talks about being possessed with the holy spirit no one talks about getting the word of god while the getting is good which is this cool of the day it's on sale and the lord himself stated freely ye, ye, ye have received therefore freely give so he's giving it out free of charge you do have some hirelings out there who aren't giving it out free free of charge and also intermingling lies with the holy truth you know but they're going to have their portion in that lake that that burn up with fire and brimstone so that's fine and if you've been dis discouraged and, or disenchanted by being taken advantage of by a so-called preacher or minister out there you know pray to the heavenly father to to give you the strength to see clearly and turn back from that lie and to be able to to, to follow him in sincerity and in truth and ultimately the heavenly father may have mercy upon you but that dog that betrayed you and led you astray full judgment is going to to, uh, to fall upon his or her head but the truth is on sale right now and you're getting it in great abundance because the heavenly father has it to where his work his word is going out in such a massive scale when you compare it unto 2007 2008 when the elder apostles of great millstone got on the youtube and started posting weekly videos that enhanced into daily videos because there was once upon a time to where the only videos that were posted uh, concerning uh, Hebrew Israelites or the G GMS he Hebrew Israelites it was just on the uh, Saturday street speaking and we waited until the next week we took our notes from that pr previous week went out as, as babes and practically regurgitated everything that we learned that week prior until the Heavenly Father ultimately built us up you know we were mockingbirds basically going into the same discussions the same topics because we were taking notes and then it enhanced to where they started doing what we call sit downs so not only were they going out every week they started doing sit down videos for further edification to further teach the flock of the Heavenly Father by way of sit downs throughout the week then the spirit had that go on for quite some time and then ultimately it came out to where okay we're going to do daily edif edification videos so that's why I stated that the truth is on sale right now and if you don't see it then the heavenly father just has you blinded to it you know he doesn't want you to see it like if you can't find a reason for the season you know I stated that because we are in this time right now people talk about this the, the, the having the, the Christmas cheer spirit upon them but don't have the spirit of the Lord upon them you know they can't just decipher the times between being spiritually motivated spiritually inspired but they're inspired by everything of this world 
but at the end of the day, the truth is on sale right now. This is the cool of the day. This is the calm before the storm. Because when things get bad, people are gonna try to fall down on their knees and pray and, and, and say, Lord, save me, Lord. Be with me, Lord, why this happened, Lord, why that? And it's just gonna be too late. Because if you didn't have enough spiritual fortitude to serve the Lord, when you had the opportune time to do so, now things are bad for you. Okay, now you need it. You know, that's selfish. You know, that's a, a, a selfish, a, a prideful spirit. And, it, and, and that's one of the things that the Heavenly Father despises. You know, he despises an individual that is instilled with pride. So when you read the book of prophecy, Going to things such as Matthew, Matthew, Matthew the 24th chapter, you know, that, that's going to be lived out in real time. The scripture states that every man's hand shall be toward his neighbor. It also says that the love of many shall wax cold. You know, I, I, I attempted to do a video on that a couple of times. And I really wasn't feeling it, you know, so I ended it and deleted it and to wait for the spirit to hop back up on me to, to kind of further go into it. Because even here in Mississippi, in the capital, just simply speaking upon the capital, it's, it's been the deadliest month in its history. So Jackson, Mississippi, crime and homicides are far above and beyond any level that they ever have been. And this is one of the top crime, uh, crime cities in the U.S., you know, based upon uh, general population. You know, they always say Mississippi is always the the most obese, the most crime, the most murders. You know, it's always the most of something. But it, but that most has turned into an enhancement. I also read even in Chicago, there's been roughly around 749 homicides there. The love of many is, is waxing cold. Nobody cares about each other anymore. Nobody cares at all. No one has respect for one another. The only people that, that are out here respecting one another is the Heavenly Father's hopefully elect. Man. We're the only people on the planet who can meet a fellow brethren and, 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 and treat him like a lone lost friend or like a, a brother a brother that you grew up with and you just reunited for a brief moment. We're the only people on the planet that are able to do that right now, man. Outside of Esau's Edom, good old boy brotherhood. But the Heavenly Father has it to where great turmoil, great chaos that's going to befall every individual that goes for man, woman, child, both male and female. Independent individuals out there. I don't care if you're a, a man or a woman. You know, but you have this mentality that you don't need nothing and no one. That's fine. As long as you're not talking about excluding the Lord out of it. And if you're talking about even God Himself, it's not more powerful than than, than you, or, or don't have any more control of your situation than you have. Then the Heavenly Father is going to give you over to your own de demise. And that's going to be his call. But most high is willing, you're able to get some type of edification out of this. So until next time, I just say shalom.